hello all welcome back and uh, now as you, as you know that we have already completed uh, uh, the mq series we have seen how to create a queue manager through this console and this mq explorer and how to we see have created the uh, queues topic and channels and cluster even now we are going to see everything from the command prompt or you can say also console so how can we create the queue managers and everything in details in this in this lecture we are going to see how we can create a queue manager delete a queue manager how can we see the status of the queue managers and various method of stopping the queue managers we can see here so first of all if you want to see how many queue managers are running at our end we have to use a command dsp mq if you enter that you can see that i have currently 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 2 4 2 6 7 queue managers are there and some of them are stopped and some one of them is running and so similar thing you can see here that the seven queue is there there and one is running but the rest are down i have made it stopped if you want to see what is the installation path of these key managers if you want maybe questions might came in mind what is the installation path if you want to see just you have to use the command tspmq minus o installation you can see these are the installation path c program files ibm iib and this everything to if you want to list there is seven user i want to create one more q managers so how can we create you have to use the command dsp and create c r t m q m then you have to put any q manager name whatever with the base let me do q m 5 i am going to create a q m 5 q manager just uh, click you can see it has been created then use the dsp mq to see it has been created or not you can see this has been created but currently once you create it will be in a stopped state so you need to start it to start how, how can we start the queue manager to start a queue manager we have to use str mqm then queue manager name qm5 after that you can see it will be a start this is a dsp mqtc status it currently running you can see it is running now you can see from here also it, it will be running just it will refresh you can see it will be done you can see that has been created this has been in this way you can create a key measure and we can stop also a key measure if you use the end mqm end mqm and qm5 q measure name qm5 it will stop Fuse DSP MQ. It will. It is currently in queuing state. Queuing queuing means something like that. Some work is going on inside, so it will take few second to stop. If you now use a DSP MQ, you can see it will be stopped. You can see it is now normally stopped. You can see also here from the refresh. You can see it is stopped. But there are many times it happened the issue. Uh, key manager takes long time to stop you may takes long time to stop so we have various uh, method to stop we can uh, do a stop of the cumulator in various way you can first if you use uh, let me start the first first let's understand the controlled way if now it is a start dead it is running a first control way control way you have used you have a command let me go show you if you see here there are various methods to stop first is the end mqm minus c and the q measure name it is same same as the end mqm and q measure name it is also called as a control stop you can sell let me show you if you do end mqm minus c and at qm5 it will stop simple as, as in mqm 
there is another way to stop you can see it is now in queuing state if you see dsp mq now it will be stopped it is stopped another way is called the next way is the waiting waiting alternative way of normal stop this is also a normal stopping we do in other way that in the mqm accumulator name in similar manner you can command for this also but it is called waiting waiting for key managers uh, what is difference between once you when i click on the end mq minus c it will command prompt go to go go back but if you see if you do here let me start it now it is started i hope if i if i if i do a in mqm in mqm minus w qm5 name you can see it is cram command from that not uh, quickly come back it is something like waiting for the qm to end it will command prompt will be back once the qm is completely stop you can if you see here now you should do it just this pmp dj stopped the difference between this difference with only thing is that once you de hit this command command prompt will be back and every, everything is going in back but if you this minus w it will wait till the all process to be done uh, then after that command prompt will come back now there, there, there is a minus i command if you if you see here let me start the again now it is just started in there is another way is the in mqm minus i why do why this is used this is mainly used if if you tried all the previous thing it is still not working then it is the used minus i minus i is the immediate immediately you want to stop Every, everything whatever the work in going you want to stop it and you want to start the kimager uh, you want to stop the kimager then you have to use minus i if you see here you can see just dspm q you can see here indeed immediately this is something not done earlier you, you earlier you can see that indeed normally but here you can see that indeed immediately it means it quickly end the kimager it all the stop work that are going will be going to stop the state and it will stop the kimager let me start and try the last way uh, let me start it now it is started last last one is the preventive step and we 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 don't prefer this in the mq minus p kimager this is called a prevent preventive shutdown and this is the last option if anything is you are not working still then you have to use this because the may something uh, broke to your system something had uh, give the abnormality in our key manager so we don't prefer this options but here uh, I, i have not created anything it is just key manager created so i can try there is no it will not affect anything to me but in real environment we don't prefer that let me uh, use that in the mqm minus w and qm5 is is waiting for the sorry i have used the wrong command i have to use minus p but in street order i have used the minus w uh, let me start it then i will use it is started let me use the again right one what why i want to show you in the mqm minus p then qm5 now it has been in dead let me use dsp mq to see you can see also in dead immediately this is also a type of in dead immediately but different is that it is a something that used for last option if this i minus i is not working then you have to use this 
so these are the various method method to, you, you can uh, stop the queue manager let me start that Here. now uh, so i find if i want to uh, delete this queue manager i want i find to if i want to delete this qm5 how can i delete this uh, if currently i don't require this qm5 i want to delete this so if, if for this you have to use the dlt dlt mqm qm5 q major name something name qm name major name but currently it will not work why it will not work because if the queue manager is running then it will not work first you need to stop the queue manager then you have to delete the queue manager let me hit it is giving error that currently the web spare mq queue manager is running and it will not stop if you see here if it, will, it, will, it has been not been deleted it is currently running for this you have to first stop it for you to first stop it and then you have to delete let me show you it is currently in queuing state let me do now it will be stopped it has been stopped now now once you do a delete it will work if you dlt mqm now qm5 it will get deleted now you can see it is giving the queue sir it deleted msper mq kinger 5 it deleted now if you see the dsp mq dsp mq then it is no you can you can see there is no qm5 you can see here also if you do a refresh it will go it's gone the qm5 is not there uh, in this way you can uh, do something i have learned today the how can we create a qmjr a stop a qmjr various method of stop a qmjr and delete a qmjr and everything next we have learned more about the how to create a qm and everything in detail so you don't need to worry for now we are uh, we will learn next everything in detail in command prompt